Hey guys, welcome to another episode of What's Hot and What's Not in Children's Ministry. Do you know the language of the next generation? I mean, do you truly know and understand? <laughs> well, we have a quiz for you, so stick around and find out. It hit different, meaning of importance or substantial significance. Man, that sermon though, it hit different. GOAT, an acronym for the greatest of all time. That Apostle Paul is the GOAT. CAT or capping, meaning to lie or deceive. The devil be capping. Bet, representing that you are in agreement. Oh yeah, I'm volunteering for BBS. <laughs> Bet. Pressed, to be mad or upset about something. Why Pharaoh so pressed? It is the fill in the blank for me, something that I truly enjoy. It's the Bible knowledge for me. I'm dead, meaning funny. Not death in a literal sense, but a figurative sense because you laughed yourself almost to the point of death. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. Drip, stylish or iconic. <laughs> yeah, you gonna be dripped out for youth retreat. I like them shoes. Hey, you guys, as children's ministry leaders, it is so important that we are constantly staying up to date and researching what's going on with the next generation and their culture, what's going on with their language. If we are truly going to reach them, we need to make sure that we stay as connected as possible. And I know that that may seem like a lot of work, but it is totally, totally worth it. You know, if you are at the point, you're like, hey, how I was raised, how I did it, it worked for me, how, how grandma did it, it worked for me, so I'm going to do it that way, you know, that's fine. But understand that ultimately you are going to lose your influence with the next generation. Don't let that happen because they need you now more than ever. Hey, you guys, that's it for this week's episode of What's Hot and What's Not in Children's Ministry. We will see you next week, same time, same place. We cool. You know it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Get a new job. <laughs>